Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to another video with the electrical guide. Today, I want to show you how to attach a cord cap to the end of a cord. Now, I'm not concerned with the size today of this cord for demonstration purposes, but you should be. Make sure that you're getting the appropriate size for the demand that you're going to have on this cord. You know, if you're going to put a portable heater, check the rating of the heater before you buy the cord. Make sure that you don't undersize your cord. So there's two ways we can do this. First way is with a knife. I don't actually like the knife way. I prefer using my strippers. So basically the knife way is the same as the strippers here. We're gonna score the cable and try and peel off this outer jacket, exposing the three conductors underneath. Now I've got this open already. I just undid these screws just to save some time. And I'm gonna check how much to strip by closing half of this and kind of holding it to where it might terminate right at the back of that screw. Now there is gonna be some strain relief provided by this clamp here, the black clamp. So I don't wanna strip the jacket too far back, maybe just inside a little bit of the edge, sort of here-ish at the tip of my thumb. And I'm gonna do this with my strippers. I'm gonna just wedge the cable down into the bottom of my blades there. I'm not gonna squeeze this, it's just kinda, just kinda wedged there. And I'm gonna rotate it a couple times. Now this is the trickiest part about doing this because you don't wanna damage the conductors underneath. So I'm, I'm, I don't really wanna go all the way through on my first go. I just wanna kinda go halfway and then look. And I look by bending this cable and just seeing you know, how, how far I went on my first go there. I would rather do this two or three times than damage the conductor insulation underneath and have to start over. So I'm gonna do this again, just put it down into my blades, just give it a bit of a turn. Okay, and I'm gonna bend it again and check. And we're not quite through yet, pretty close. Oh, we got through on the black side there. Not quite on this side. Now, ideally, I don't want to shave anymore. I want to just flex this thing around. Just keep poking at it, keep moving it around until it loosens up and exposes the white. I'm just gonna keep bending it. Maybe I'll try and just pull it off. Okay, I just pulled it off. Now I can check, make sure my insulation's not damaged there. Looks pretty good, okay. And I can double check this is gonna be enough to not only go all the way into my connection points, but also have enough of the jacket here that I can grab it with the black strain relief here. So now we have to separate these three and we're gonna strip just a little bit. Now we can kind of test how much to strip by inserting it in the side there. You can see it kind of goes through Maybe putting your thumb there, pulling it back out, and we'll strip about that much for all three of these. I'm just gonna fast forward this. Okay, now that I've got these three stripped, I'm gonna twist the strands together, just try and make them nice and neat, so I don't have any frayed strands. Now, green to green, of course, white to silver, always, neutral to silver, and then the black is always gonna go on the copper color side. So I think the easiest way to do this is actually to jam them all in at the same time. So I'm gonna kind of position them in the way that they're gonna go here with the green in the center, white on the silver side, and the black on the copper side, and just see if I can put these all in at the same time. Okay, it's actually went pretty well. And I'm going to use my green Robertson here Tighten the ground first. I'll speed up tightening these screws just to save some time. Okay, now when they're all tight, it's really important that you verify that there's no frayed pieces of copper that are making their way across any of these contacts here. We don't have any of that, so it looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna close it up. Again, we're just gonna double check that we are indeed gonna close down with the outer jacket here. 
Now this is gonna feel like it's not gonna close potentially based on the size, but it will. So we'll put, keep some pressure with our thumb, start one of the screws. This is also a green Robertson. And then we'll start the other screw. And I'm just gonna speed up the rest of this. Okay, now you see that it's absolutely as tight as it can get there. And on the other side, again, as tight as it gets. It looks really good at the strain relief portion there. It's definitely, definitely on there solid. So that's how you terminate a cord cap on a cord. Thanks for watching another video with the electrical guide. Please be sure to like and subscribe.